The Negro often says that black lives matter, but I have to wonder, do the lives of black police officers matter? A couple of days ago, Officer Randolph Holder here in New York was shot and killed by a four-time convicted felon, Tyrone Howard. And I don't see all these Afro-American Negroes going out to march and protest on behalf of this fallen officer. This black officer who came from a family of police officers. His grandfather was a police officer, his father was a police officer, and then he became a police officer himself. And this man dedicated his life to protecting African American communities, and he was gunned down in the line of duty. Now, I wonder, where are all these people who say that black lives matter? Uh, everybody is always out here for people like your Michael Browns, your Trayvon Martins, and who else has been shot and then killed by a white police officer. But I wonder, where are the black people in the case of a black police officer shot by a black person? This is why I talk about why it's important for us to look at black on black crime. Because, in, again, in order for a black life to have value, black people have to value it. And when we look at the life of this officer, it should have had the same value as Trayvon Martin's or Michael Brown's to the people in the black community. The same people in the black community would probably be making every effort to uplift and support this four-time convicted felon, um, Tyrone Howard, and, you know, support him. They said that they, were, they had made efforts to keep guys like this out of the projects, but lo and behold, here we have this four-time convicted felon, this four-time convicted drug dealer, living in the same projects with his baby mama and his mother. Pretty much showing us that, you know, how much the community goes out of their way to support the most dysfunctional people and, you know, continues to ma maintain the status quo of dysfunction and codependency that are part of life in your, in, in your projects. So... This man was given every opportunity possible, and he continuously squanders it time and time again. Now, in the case of this Tyrone Howard, he was, you know, the judge got so tired of this man going in and out of jail that he put him in, the, in this diversion program in the hopes that he would get rehabilitated. And, sadly, this four-time convicted felon shows us that he was just not, he just did not care, and went right back to his dope dealing, went back, back to his criminal behavior, and sadly, this black officer lost his life as a result of this, of this, um, of this felon, and this career felon at that. And we, we want, I sit there and I wonder, where are all these people who said that black lives matter? Did, does this police, black police officer's life matter? This black man who went to this black community to try to, to serve and protect it. Where was the support for this black officer and, you know, his family? We saw a lot of non-black people in the courtroom supporting that family. We saw a lot of police officers supporting that man. We saw a whole bunch of people out there supporting. But we didn't, I wonder, where were the people in that community to support, you know, this officer who gave his life for his own community? It shows us you know, how little black life val is valued by, you know, people, by black people. This whole case with this Officer Randolph Holder shows us, you know, how little regard African Americans have for the lives of other African Americans. This is a case of black on black crime, but you don't see any outrage from black people. You don't see any people marching and protesting saying, we need to take the community back from these dope dealers or these gang members or these criminals. We don't see any of these black pastors coming out and saying we need to do something about these gang members. We don't see any of these single mothers, you know, going out and making efforts to check their sons. No, these people will make every effort to enable the dysfunction in their own community. They'll make excuses for all the dysfunction in their community, but they won't take any action to make a change. And what's really crazy about this whole death of Officer Randolph Holder is that what is it, about two weeks ago, we had this Justice Sorrell's March where all these black men, you know, 
and black women went all the way down to Washington, D.C. They marched, and they said they wanted to make efforts to make change. And here we have, here in New York, an officer killed by another black man. And do we hear from any of these people? Do they have any plans to do, you know, support this family or even make efforts to do something about all the shootings in the community? No, all we hear from them is just um, people saying that they're throwing salt on their movement, that they're putting down their movement. Well, why don't these people get up and make efforts to try to move these dope dealers and gang members out of their community or make efforts to try to check these people so that they can have a functioning community whatsoever? I mean, people will go out of their way to go march on Washington, but they won't march into their communities to take constructive action to build, protect, and support their own community. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.